Hi, I'm Louise Skeen and today I'm going to show you a hip flexor stretch. And some of you may not even know where your hip flexors are, but basically you know where your hips are and the flexor runs directly at the front area of your hip. Now, we use our hip flexors every single day. We use it when we walk. We use it if you're a runner, then you will use it every day as well with impact on it. And then if you're also a boxer, you might enjoy boxing for fitness or do some kickboxing. I can guarantee you your hip flexors are being overworked in that area. So if you're not stretching your hip flexors every single day, you may eventually find that your lower back really starts to seize up and give you less mobility and some pain goes along with that and nobody wants that. So what I'm going to ask you to do is take yourself down to the floor, make sure that your lower back is pressed down to the floor, okay, and your knees are bent, your knees and toes are tracking forward. Now all you're going to do is take one knee up to your chest, and in this case I've got my right knee up to my chest, and my toes and knees are tracking, my lower back is down, and now I'm going to raise my glutes, my bottom off the ground, and I'm stretching through my hip flexor, trying to raise up as high as I can. And I'm going to hold this for about five seconds, and then I'm going to lower it down. And I'd like you to do this about three or five times all to one side, and then you're going to switch over. So the knee and toe are tracking, I'm pulling up to my chest, and I'm raising my bottom off the ground and stretching through my hip flexor. Okay, holding that for that three counts, three seconds roughly, and I'm going to do that about three to five times. Now, that's just something very simple that you can do from home, and it's a real effective exercise so that you can avoid back pain in the future. Okay, have a great day. I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.